Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share something about how we get frustrated. You know, one of the best inventions that was ever made was the, the, the signal lights, traffic lights. I think it was made by a black man, actually. But the thing that gets you is why are you going through traffic when you're in a hurry? Don't you want to curse those lights sometimes? Like, don't you change on me now. Yeah. And right when you think you're going to get where you're going to go and you're coming up, you're going to zoom through that intersection. Yellow light, red light. Sit your little booty down and wait even though you're in a hurry. Doesn't that make you mad? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But listen, sometimes we get mad at God that way too. Sometimes it seems like God's traffic signals are painstakingly slow. You're running. You know how you run in a dream? And you're giving it all you got. And you're moving in slow motion. Oh, you talk about frustrating. <laughs> Well, I say all that to say, yes, God gets on all of our nerves sometimes. There's no need in lying about it. That's part of the relationship, part of learning to trust him when we can't see what the heck he's got on his mind and trying to trust him when he's not giving us any clues either. Hmm. Well, when God is painstakingly slow, instead of trying to run and force it, sit your little behind down and relax, kick your feet up, and say, okay, we'll get there when we get there. Because you know what you'll end up doing? You'll end up jumping the gun. You'll end up getting in such a hurry and allowing your emotions to get so out of control that you'll forget God, I'll handle this. Oh, you'll handle it all right. You'll make such a mess, it'll blow up in your face. And some of you will take years to recover. But when God is being, pain, seemingly, being painstakingly slow, he's doing something. He is working out some serious details in your favor. Even though you're looking at a red light, that red light is working on your behalf. Because if you go through that red light, baby, you could have a head-on collision or somebody can hit you from the side so hard that you get mashed up in that car and die. Trust the red lights. Trust the red lights. This is a message for somebody. Somebody's getting really antsy now. You're getting frustrated. It's not happening the way you thought. It's not happening as quickly as you expected. And God is not in a hurry. He looks like he's somewhere having a coffee break. But your situation is a crisis. And you cannot figure out what is God's trip. Doesn't he know what you're going through? Maybe he's mad at me. Maybe he's, he's got an attitude. And he's paying me back for something I did a long time ago. Well. It really is looking like these red lights are working against me. Yeah. Every time I look up, it's red. And it takes forever to turn green. I, 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 I don't like that. I, I don't like it. it. It's really starting to feel personal now. now. I don't know what God has against me. But as a red light, as a signal light, I don't like him. I don't like the way this is going down. 
Well, guess what, baby? God loves you even when you're mad at him. He can handle that. That doesn't blow his mind. It doesn't trip him out. Doesn't even make him angry. <laughs> he understands. Because he understands you. He understands your makeup. But because God knows the beginning from the end, the first, from the last, he knows it all. He knows all the weavings and every little intricate detail that's going to make things work out to your favor. It would behoove you to sit down, have a little sip of tea, and relax. And if I were to speak on God's behalf, I would say, have a sip of tea and wait on me. Peace be still. Yes, God makes you and me angry. Yes, he's frustrating because he's not giving us any clues. But I can safely say from experience, this is not just book knowledge. This is from experience. God, I got to quote the song again. Sorry, y'all. God is too wise to be mistaken. God is too good to be unkind. So when you don't understand and you can't see his plan, when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. He alone is faithful and true. He alone knows what is best. For you, red light and all, sit at the red light and trust. Trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. God bless you. Be encouraged. Your redemption draweth.